Hey, how's it going, guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm actually going to be breaking down the new eight screenshots that Rockstar Games has given us today when they announce new details for exclusive content for returning GTA 5 players on the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. So I'm going to be going in order of the way they were announced on the Newswire, and I kind of want to talk about some of the things mentioned inside and really just give you guys a little bit more of my analysis that I couldn't do on my first video. So this is going to be really awesome. Let's get started. So the first image we're looking at is the one of the Dodo seaplane, and this is really cool. This is a great looking image. Not only does it show off the beautiful waters of the Vespucci Ocean, but also we get a great look at one of the new vehicles, the Dodo seaplane. And this is really awesome because it gives us a great view of what the seaplane is going to be look like, this whole remastered look. You can see it's got a nice red, white, and black finish on it. But also something else you might notice is the giant yacht located right underneath. And a lot of people have said, are yachts going to be coming to Grand Theft Auto V? Or is this the one from story mode where Michael actually jumps off uh, the pier and he tries to go to the boat and find his daughter? It was on like the porn boat or whatever. So it was really interesting. But a lot of people have said, wait, it's the one from story mode. Other people have said, you know, it's going to be a new feature to GTA 5. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below about this. I'm kind of torn, but I'm more leaning on the, the route of it's the one from single player. As cool as yachts would be in GTA 5, I don't see it as a thing that's going to be happening just yet in GTA 5. So this is the Dodo seaplane. It looks absolutely beautiful. I'm assuming this is going to be a Pegasus vehicle, and I really can't wait to get my hands on this vehicle. Speaking of vehicles, I can't wait to get my hands on. The next one we're going to be looking at is the Imponte Duke of Death. We thought we were going to get the Dukes, but this is called the Duke of Death. You can see Trevor is standing in front of it, and holy crap, this vehicle looks absolutely lethal. So intimidating. You can see some of the customization options we get on this. I'm not sure if that's a new triple intake valve or bug catcher valve coming out of the hood, but if it is, that is awesome. It looks like it's got some extra grill guards on the front. You can see those like stainless black steel bars on the front of the grill. And probably one of the coolest things is if you look at the window, you'll notice these like crazy. I guess bulletproof-esque little window things that it's like it acts like a little window. It's like you can barely see through it, and it happens on the windshield as well. This car is like completely sealed off. It's like a mini Batmobile, and that is absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to get my hands on this car. It's going to be absolutely amazing. So our next image is pretty cool. This is the murder mystery image, and you can see Michael is kind of walking into this alleyway, this dark alleyway. You can see his shadow, and basically this is going to be your objective to get to the bottom of a murder mystery that strikes right at the heart of Los Santos' most cherished industry. So I believe they're talking about the uh, movie industry because that would seem the most fitting with you know Solomon Richards and whatnot. And there's also a note written on the wall, and it says, Old Fred acts nice but it ain't so. So that's kind of the only message we get. Old Fred acts nice, but it ain't so. So I don't know if there's any characters named Fred in here. If you guys have done some like analysis or dug deep into the GTA 5 characters, uh, other than the protagonist, try to find someone named Fred because he might be a very crucial character in this. But basically, we're going to get to re-explore Los Santos in a new mystery and a new storyline as Michael trying to undercover some cool things. Now this next image is gonna be amazing. This is the railgun. The futuristic new railgun uploads powerful rounds of explosive ammunition upon foes. Now this is Michael, what looks to be completing some sort of bank robbery or heist. And you can see he has got the railgun right here. And that thing is huge. It's almost as tall as him. It extends out of his body so much and you can see I don't know if this is going to be like a single shot weapon or if it's going to be like semi-automatic or fully automatic. Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine a fully automatic railgun. How intense would that be? But nevertheless, that is really cool. Gives us a great idea about what's going on here. And of course, going to be one of the awesome weapons that we get to experience in GTA 5 on the next generation. Now this next photo gives us a great view of one of the new vehicles we're going to be getting. This is the Kraken Submarine. Now this looks to be a more versatile submarine that looks to have a purpose for wildlife photography challenge. So they say, as Franklin catalog unique animal species scattered across the map to unlock the special Kraken Sub. So it looks like this submarine has to be unlocked first. You don't just get it. But it looks like this submarine obviously has some special features. To me, it looks a little bit more nimble, a little bit more sleek than the other submarine that you used in the single-player campaign of Grand Theft Auto V. So I think this is going to be really cool. Who knows what I'll use it for. Again, I'll go exploring the underwater lands of Los Santos. But 
It looks awesome, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. So this next image is amazing, and it is a photo of what looks to be a stock car race. And hold on, everyone. We're going to be doing some crazy breakdowns right here. So stock car races. Basically, you can win a series of new stock car races to earn unique custom muscle cars. So stock car races are going to allow you to win cars as your reward. So instead of getting like RP and money, you're going to have the ability to unlock new vehicles. Now, there's something I want you guys to check out here. This yellow car in the back is actually the stallion from GTA 3, GTA 4, and other Rockstar games like Bully and other games. So this is awesome. This is a car they actually didn't mention in the newswire. That yellow car right there is the stallion. So that's another vehicle we're going to be getting. And that is amazing. So you can see the kind of advertisements on the side adorned with logos. You have the Redwood right there. You have the burger shot on the other one, the Stallion. And this is absolutely incredible. This gives us a great view of not only the awesome advertisements and logos that are going to be on these custom muscle cars, but also a new car that Rockstar didn't tell us about, the Stallion, which is going to be amazing. I love that car in GTA 4 and GTA 3. It was a great ride, and I can't wait to have it back in Grand Theft Auto 5. Our next photograph doesn't really tell us a whole lot, but it's just a beautiful photo of the Zero Blimp, which is a more maneuverable and faster blimp that I'm definitely going to be getting my hands on in Grand Theft Auto V. So we had the Atomic Blimp for the old generation. Now we're upgrading to the Zero Gas Blimp, which is going to be more faster and more nimble. And again, this photo just gives us a great view of Los Santos and how beautiful the world is really going to be. So our last official screenshot is going to be a look at the intimidating Cheval Marshall. And the one thing I noticed about this is while it is the Cheval Marshall, it really looks like the Picador just on like monster truck style wheels, just super lifted. So this is going to be crazy. You know, the Cheval Marshall, we got the Liberator and I think a lot of people liked the Liberator, but it was so clunky and so, you know, just clumsy to work with that I think people didn't really like it. And it was a Pegasus vehicle, so you couldn't customize it, and you couldn't really do anything with it. This is a Cheval car, so I'm wondering if you're going to be able to take this into the Los Santos Custom Shop, change the color, maybe change the flag, maybe add new customization options to it. So the Cheval Monster looks intimidating as hell, and I cannot wait to get my hands on this vehicle and hopefully be able to customize it in the Los Santos Custom Shop. So the final image we're going to be looking at today is one Rockstar posted on their official Instagram account. And it's essentially nine boxes of some of the new material we're going to be getting. And in it, you get great views of some of the returning content that we've seen and also some great additions that we didn't get to see on the Newswire. So it looks like we're going to start from the bottom. And it looks like the Marshall Monster Truck might actually have the ability to be customized because you can see... In this photo, it is red, and in the one in the newswire, it is blue. So the only way to do that would be changing the colors, and unless you get randomly spawned colors with different ones, it looks like you're going to be able to take this into the Los Santos Custom Shop and add some unique, different features to it. And also something else you can notice is a different colored flag on there. I don't know if you can see that too well, but if you zoom in, go into 720p, you can see a blue flag with a white X on it instead of the American flag like the one we saw on the newswire. Something else to notice is the monkey mosaics. These are the things you're going to have to find and photograph in order to unlock the go go monkey ballista in the game. So you're going to need to look for these things all across Los Santos if you want to be able to find them and if you want to be able to unlock the new car. Moving up one block at the murder mystery, that's right, it kind of confirms our suspicion that we are going to be working in the movie industry with Solomon Richards, so that's very cool. Cannot wait to get my hands on that awesome storyline and really complete it as Michael and just solve the crazy mystery. Moving over to the railgun and hatchet, we get another photo of Michael holding the railgun and also Trevor wielding the hatchet. This is going to be an amazing weapon that I can't wait to get my hands on in story mode. The hatchet is going to be so funny, just chopping people up. I'm going to feel like a crazy, you know, Halloween psychopathic murderer. So it's going to be pretty amazing. Can't wait to get my hands on that. Moving over one to the left, and we also get another view at the Imponte Duke of Death. Just kind of gives us a frontal view of what this car might look like, and also gives us another customization option that we can add to it. You can see the lights on the top of the roof. That is going to be amazing as well. So basically, that's all the photos I've got for you today and all the breakdown I'm going to do for you guys. I might do a question and answer later because I know a lot of you guys probably have a ton of questions and concerns and maybe you want to just hear my opinion on some of these issues. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Absolutely be sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. And also feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. Without the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.